Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Edit Luin campaign. In the last episode, we had the lovely Battle of Mithlond, where we completely destroyed Kirodan and his forces. Uh, if we had that army in there, we would have had a bit of a problem. But we do need to deal with them. We did also have the defense of Budget of Doom. Although we went it, we did take a lot of losses. Um, however, I'm hoping now with the taking of Mithlond, our economy is going to start bouncing back. And bouncing back with a flourish. Uh, we are getting a lot of money. Uh, we should maybe look to push on Forland in this episode as well. Something just to completely take the northern regions here. Right, he's in that. Um, we are close to an though, so I wanted to do some things. Uh, definitely take out these forces. That's what I'm going to do now, actually. Right, he can do that by himself. And he lost. Okay, I was wrong. He couldn't do that by himself. And, uh, yeah, I kind of deserved that, didn't I? Um, I'm thinking if I win a battle here, I think I will get a Man of the Hour, which will be really good. So we're going to actually get a big force together to do that. Uh, let's up it. Okay, then, then like that. And then like that. And like that. And there we are. And we're going to fight it because if you ought to resolve it, because of the unit is, we'll probably use like 400 units and I do not want to have that losses that would be really bad uh, and they are one of the best units in the game as we found out in the last episode uh, so let's just jump into it the time's come, lads. To arms. uh yeah that's a pretty good <laughs> right yeah we're just gonna try and shoot them down no messing around just shoot them Yes, this is the way to get shot at. This is the way. See, they're a good unit, but they don't like crossbows. Well, that stunned the force there. Uh, a blister is not doing too well in there in terms of accuracy. Badly okay, let's get them away from that. The enemy general ha, good dead. shot. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his neck. Imagine you have a battle of Isengard in my Bree campaign where I took out their general in their fit with the fish shot and thus ending the campaign the the with the capture of Isengard. Like this, we will smash the enemy. Anyway, we've, we've, we have lost a few. Be in awe of the victory we have won here today. 30 men. I'm not I'm I'm happy losing 30. I'm happy to lose 30. It's fine. So let's just jump back to the campaign map and deal with that other force then. Okay, that's done. And then we get oh, Aha! Man of the hour. Fantastic. Captain Ferdinand. Uh oh, he does have some pretty good um some pretty good stats, actually. He can lead the charge oh, as we <laughs> <laughs> that portrait is hilarious. Uh, he can lead the charge in killing these dwarves. Right. Dwarves. We're the dwarves. Uh, these elves. Right, we'll put them like that. And next turn we will hit them hard. Okay, let's uh, move on then. Because we have nothing left to do. He's already getting married. Fantastic. Good for him. <laughs> uh, Access guild house. Yes. Get that. Do that. Good. Towards variable. Yes, please. What is it you wish Ally with me. Why would you reject a good offer? Um, let's see if I can give them. Um, they have a lot of money. So give them two thousand gold. Oh. oh. I think we need to give them like a ridiculous offer, like ten thousand gold. We don't have that at the moment. Uh, so next turn we try and get that in then. Uh, we need to try and build. Building is important right now, because we have the means to do so. Uh, so let's open this in, and then he is supposed to give us some an extra 1% growth and some public order, which we definitely need. Uh, and that's all I can build. Right, that's not going to upgrade, is it? 
Um, Iron Mongers, yeah, get that in. That's going to give us some money. And then we're going to push on these, this elven, the force is wandering around. Yes, my king. Right, maybe, maybe better if we go for um, Harlon first. Right, get the cal yeah, the cavalry's in. This is fantastic. My king. Chasing down this force will be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, Hidden Valley, yeah, I know. Well, the elves are doing really bad, aren't they? <laughs> Not doing too well at all. They're just getting kind of thrown about. I'm still curious. Uh, in the last episode, it's, I saw the goblins of Mora going to war with Ened Wraith. I just, I'm still confused how they're bordering each other to have a war actually start. Okay, that's all I can do then. Uh, this lovely guy is back again. Uh, maybe let's get Gore himself to come and deal with him. Because I think he can win that. I said that about, but I did say that about uh, Grindfarn, and he, I was wrong. Okay. Oh, he does add, he do, to be fair, he does add a lot of money just leaving him in there. Just for now, we leave him in there for then until we got some more public order going. Anyway, let's just move on. Okay. I may lead. Really piss off. By your will, sire, we shall engage. All right, put it in that time. Oh, he wins that by himself. That's fine. A proud victory. I need to win that too. And there we are. Sire, we shall engage. Go giving us more money. Glory and honor. Um, that army is really pushed to get back to their uh, city of Harlands, aren't they? Um, we train them. Let them learn. Uh, they can build that. Give us more money. Uh, um, people more, I should say. Uh, large big farm. Oh, that does give us quite a bit of money, actually. Actually, actually, let's uh, not do that for now. See if I can get that. Alliance, map formation, plus 3,500 gold. Because we need to get them out the way now. Damn it. Uh, alliance, map formation, and... Let's see if I can give him uh, 2,000 for four turns. Map. For God's sake! Because of Doom has built that, which is fantastic there. They can then build me a barracks then. So you can get some, more, some of my better units coming in. Um, we need to start getting some units to come south from our bigger cities here. Right, get that in here, and then can I get crossbows? No. Go ahead, another. They can get some crossbows, and then they can get some pikemen. Yes, good, good, good. They do have some. Cro they do have some crossbows. Okay. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll get these guys to come I south, I along with over. nothing. <laughs> nothing else can join. So again, I'll get some roads in the next turn. And you can start building roads here. Where was it? Someone didn't have roads. Where was that? Ah, it was Buzzard Doom, wasn't it? We're going to do that next, then. Uh, you do stone workers. You start doing that. And so will you. Okay, there we are. My king. Now. Maybe get a Celso the next turn. That will be a really good unit to get. Uh, get I Go actually to join this push. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, he's still coming south. Yeah, want. that's good. That's not possible, sire. Of course, sire. Building everywhere now, which is which is well, I say everywhere, but of course it's not. It's not really true, is it? March. 
So the brewery in is going to give us the cultures. 11% already, which is fantastic. Uh, minus quarters, they don't really need that. Um, what do they need? Town guard, we do need. Oh, history guild. I don't. Does that do anything for us? It doesn't really give us enough money, so let's leave it. Wow, that's really good. Mines are really good here. Wow. Okay, nothing we can destroy, which is just annoying. Honor, I respect you, oh no, my a uh, elven general. Honor, my wolf. We march to glory. In your name, sir. Let's go into the number stance. See what happens. Uh, my lord. What can I do for you? Map, map. Uh, so we're gonna fail this mission, it seems. Military unit we would be amazing, but it doesn't look like they want to give it to me. I we need to concentrate on doing these these three regions, and then we're gonna start getting the relics. I'm thinking the more I let my turn, though, the more risk it is that the dwarves are gonna come and be like, "Right, we're gonna attack you now. Give me your two main cities." And we don't want to be at war with the dwarves. Okay, that's all I could do then. Again, another end turn. Bria's under siege. Interesting. Where's it? Something to investigate. On my way. Okay, so he's come back to there. Okay. I, noble son. I, my liege. I, noble son. What have they brought I, to siege? That not much, it seems. Right, they're too far away to help there, which is annoying. Let's get this general down. I will only address you in battle. Uh, I'm not having the siege equipment either, which is good. Uh, so let's get my pikes to join, and we're going to go back around the side. Oh, dearie, dearie, it's just getting worse, isn't it? What is it you wish to talk about? I could do that and do that and then do Enough of this. Well, curse you it doesn't look good does it <laughs> it doesn't the longer it takes the longer it's gonna be the more risk we have as I said in the last turn that's not possible sir. right anyways that's just annoying me now over next turn we oh we are getting our culture is really good now so we will get some dwarven units built will help us no end. Gore's unit will be excellent in the Siege of Harland. Which will definitely be in this episode. Yes, Taking that will pretty much have the elves taken out. Uh, do you know what? We're going to build another general here. Right, they built their crosses here, I believe. Yeah, so that's fine. Let's get them to I come forward as well. Maybe let's look to counter with what we got, like a little ragtag force, and they will try and take Fallon. The only issue I have is I think that the Garrison Script army spawns around here and not by uh, Rivendell, which is a bit stupid. But that uh, is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> it just is what it is. Uh, so let's just move on then and start the siege. Okay, so the elves want to meet us in the field. I will uh, accept the challenge. Aye, sire. Onward. Um. Aye, noble son. I will only address oh. you in battle. Ah, yes. Beating that force and wiping it will Aye, mean that Harland will be an absolutely easy uh, battle to win. Can we build those? Maybe it's worth not building that general for now. Getting him to come south. Okay, so maybe we're not gonna we're not gonna be in time to save it. But hopefully it can hold with what they got. And we will get this Salsod unit in. And we'll start this little battle here. Oh we have a lot uh Bounce Power's heaven in favour. The only unit I'm really worried about is the Mython Nobles. The archers will be a problem, but then we do have cavalry to counter that. Uh, we probably quite, we have to be quite aggressive in this battle, which is fine. 
So without further ado, let us jump into it. Okay. Um, let us... I hate trees. I hate trees a lot. I hate trees are annoying. Um, let us... Come down here then, I guess. Uh, we have a lot of shock infantry, which is unlike me. I don't rate shock infantry too much. Okay, so you guys are going to come here, this side. Left flank. And the right flank will be the Grimbun Reavers. Cavalry will be... Cavalry job will just be to get rid of their blisters. They are going to corner camp it, it seems. They really are. Wow. I've never seen... I've never really seen the AI do that. Which means we have to be the aggressive ones, as I thought I would have to. Um, get these guys all the way over here. And lovely fast forward. Ah, the two blisters, which is a problem. Generally, is archers. We're going to lose a lot of units here. It's going to be a bit of a bloody battle. The balance power is in our favour, but because of the units they have, the ballista is going to be a problem if they hit our general. Because <laughs> you'll probably die. Wow, that's really, some really good range. Jesus. In all fairness, my units are right by there. I didn't realise they were so close. Okay, they are going to start shooting into my crowd now, which is annoying. Stop shooting. Uh, my unit's gonna start running. I have to run now. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, I know. We'll I know we are winning, but it doesn't. It still doesn't feel like it right as of yet. Uh, get them to start running, and them to start running. Ah! I can miss on nobles. Love that. I slow it down so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, because they've just decided to a uh, long space no don't don't do not engage that that'd be bad how am i settled so far ahead of everything else okay you guys are free to hit them uh spread out Okay, the cell swords are gonna do a number on my uh, cell. Uh, the Nilthon numbers. I'm gonna do a number on my cell swords. Right, we have got their archers engaged, which is gonna be amazing. Uh, right, you can just start shooting at them. Just start shooting at long spears. Do not want them to be engaged my cavalry. And they've got their back to us as well, which is gonna cause a lot more damage. Where are you? You are not close enough. Are you going to do that? Where are you? You're here. Right, you guys have... Uh, the blisters have stopped, which is fantastic. What are you shooting at? Their ballista. Why would you shoot at their ballista? What is the point in that? Right. That's one ballista down. Only half the 
enemy force remains. Um, Grim Reavers, where are you? You're too far away as well. You know, actually, they uh, run a bit faster. Right, my cavalry has won this battle over here. Alright, these long pieces have been broke up really badly. But we, we did think we were going to lose a lot of units because of the push. Uh, let's get the Gore to engage them. This dude's just going to come hit these guys. Their general is uh, still standing. And they are starting to, to, to retreat now. We are see, seeing the battle going heavily in our favour now. I can't see anything. This is one thing Rome, the new Rome Rastid that did do. And that was... I mean, so that you can, if you press shift, you get rid of the trees. The oh. Battle is very much in right. Our favor. Stop. True and Don't do that. The enemy general lies dead. Let the crows have his miserable bones. And let our I'm now starting to see their armies completely run to the hills. I need to completely wipe this army. Again, the missile of nobles just holding by themselves. Uh, get these guys to get in the back of them then. No, now like we'll actually lose a general from uh, because of the missile nobles. Back of them, they're gone. And there's just the missile nobles left. There's not a lot though. And there's the uh, gabble gaffer guard. Will do the job. And there we are. Oh, good healing as well. I don't know. Pike, pike men doing quite well. They're actually the best. Ah, Mission Cavalry, of course. Why am I... I that was light. Mission Cavalry, of course, doing the best because they are such a good unit. And anyway, that is the battle won. Let us get back to the campaign map and push on Harland. Uh, let us... We have to get rid of them. We can push on Harland without any worries now. With only have the two units left, uh, we'll do the same composition we had at the Battle of Mithland. Oh, they wouldn't dare. They probably would. Um, okay, let's hope that... Uh, Glane can get behind, but I think they're going to have the siege of Thorin's Halls in the end to face, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's get my spy actually back here. Let's see what's going on. Moving on. Um, kind of adoption. That is pretty... Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good uh, governor as well. And he is in Buzzard Doom, which will mean I can push him up to under towers, actually. That should be quite good. Town Guard and Buzzard Doom has been built. And the elves have run off. Which is interesting. They actually had the... Get travellers in. Get a little this force together. And they're going to push themselves southwards. Uh, my spy is here. He's going this way. Oh, <laughs> I think I'd like it, which is good. Uh, I'd love to see that. Um, You're you have a proposition. Right, let's, let's just give him something stupid. A thousand for 15 turns. Really? Twenty turns then. Give us all the money per turn. Twenty turns. I see there is another uh, proposal. We hope. Mm. 
wheel attack. Uh, the Dark Lord of Mordor, right? He's got ally with us. No! <laughs> ah, we're gonna fail, that was annoying. They're very stubborn, these dwarves. I mean, it makes sense because uh, we are to betray all the dwarven culture and take the rings for ourselves, so I'm not surprised they hate us. But, in our own lands, we have the Battle of Fort Harland to get underway. Maybe get another spy. Actually, we need to get another spy, I think. Which we can't do yet. Can we train these units, which is good. Right, you need to get that in. Get that settlement gro growing as quick as possible. You must grow. You must all grow. Make me more money. The ports will be good. That would be good, actually. Really good to get. And then Furost can get... Oh, last week from yeah, do that. I uh, yes, everything's so cheap because of that, and we do have the plant here in under towers. Okay, let's get this back siege underway and get some more money. What? How much is it making? We don't know. It's a mystery. We'll find out. I, nope, lady. don't do that. We must it's gonna be a really quick one actually, but I will fight it because I don't can't risk losing more than two hundred units. And let's go. The time is uh, okay. Again, the AI wants us to use the blister to take the walls, but I will use my lovely Grimbion Reavers, as they are a really good unit. Okay, let's go. Get a little fast forward going. We're going to lose a lot just to their, uh, yeah. <laughs> oof, oof. That zero shield is really, uh, Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. really see the uh, damage of having zero shield. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemies, our siege towers have reached the walls. Okay, that. Now the butcher's work begins. I always find these walls do a lot more damage than like bigger walls. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Okay. I mean, look how many units we're losing just to their gates. It's not even their units shooting me, it hitting me, it's just their gates. Ugh. One more. One more. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time. Ah, it's just so scammy. Like this is no point. Why build a big city when these walls just do so much damage? The battle is very much. Fourteen percent just to their just to their walls. Victory will be ours. Only half the enemy force. And there's, no, there's no units even on the walls. Right, you guys are gonna come to here. Engage them! Engage them! Okay, there we are. Just get to shoot them down. Run. Run where you in. Get out of there. Just gonna quickly shoot them. Oh, you got that. And that's just good on quickly.
I don't I don't want them to do what they're doing, so stop. I, I just don't want to. As soon as these Dalves are done, I'm so happy because the Alvin army is so annoying to deal with. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You can shoot them. Good tidings. The enemy general lies. And then we, that's the battle done. We've lost so many. That was too. Like, said I don't lose like 200 men, but we lost so many just to the bloody walls. In awe of the victory we have won here today. Okay, that's lost in 200, but uh, still, still, not happy with that. Uh, Grim Reaver's doing the best, but we have lost a unit of them now, which is a bit annoying, but we are fighting against very, very well armored units. Ugh, I hate the walls so much, just hate medium walls. It's done, battle's done, it's fine. Harlan's taken, more money for me. And there we are, another one goes down. Another settlement for me. Yeah, see, as soon as you attack it, they lose the uh, ports. Yeah, I know they're not, not happy with that. Uh, let's get the brewery in those as soon as possible to get the culture going. And we'll king. leave the these guys in as well. Get them round just to help. Cut it down to low. And here we are. And there's an army. Spin on. And that, everyone, is where we shall end it. It's been a, another good episode. We're making progress. Not in terms of stopping the armies of Khazad Doom and Erebor coming at us, but Mythlond is only down to one settlement, which is Forlond. I'm surprised there's no Last Stand script started because they only have the Hidden Valley and fall on the left maybe it'll kick off when um, At your I take that settlement which would be annoying hopefully it'll just stay over there if it stays there I'm just be happy them fighting with the orcs so we can just build up our economy here because we are making a lot of money now like eventually we're going to make just, like stupid amounts of money like Mithon's making 2400 gold per turn which is stupid uh, yes. but anyway that's everything. What we're going to do next is the Siege of Forlond, which should be in the next episode. It shouldn't be too difficult getting over that. But again, see you for the next one. So, if you have enjoyed this video, please, if you feel like it, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I always enjoy looking at comments from people and replying to them. And I will see you all in the next one.